Good morning guys. Today I'll be talking about a very known parasite in this uh, hobby. It's called Cryptocarnum irritans, also known as Ick. There's two versions, saltwater and freshwater. I'll be talking about the saltwater version, Cryptocarnum irritans. It's a microscopic parasite. It's a single cell organism that attaches to the fish, that goes through the mucus and attaches to the skin, digging all the way to the epithelium. And this really bothers the fish and eventually can kill the fish if there's a lot of stress and if the parasite it's not treated in time it multiplies very fast so it can also go after the other fish as part of its life cycle first signs that we see that the fish was in, is infected with ick is actually behavioral signs so you will see the fish doing shaking starting really fast it's just a lot of hyperactivity from the fish it starts to go to the surface it goes and tries to breathe by the power heads where there's a lot of flow it also will scratch its body against a decoration like rocks and this parasite will affect his eyes its gills by affecting his gills the fish has more trouble breathing so that's why it goes to places with more flow in your tank and you will start seeing some decoloration on their skin eventually as the parasite develops in the fish you will start seeing the white spot. Those white spots eventually fall, which doesn't mean there's no ick in your tank. The ick, when it's in the fish, it's not always in the same stage. You have different stages. You start seeing the white spots, kind of like looks like the fish was sprinkled with uh, fine salt or sugar. This phase right here, it's called the trophont. So it's a trophont. Let's amplify and kind of looks like this little has full of cilia gets really big the trophon this is the the feeding stage feeding stage falls out of the fish becoming a protomont the protomont starts dividing it will start creating small cells inside it those little cells are called tomites so this is the reproductive stage the tomon eventually comes to a point it will explode so the membrane breaks and all those little tomites start coming out and we call them now terons. This is the infective stage. Terons have about 24 hours to, to find a host. And this phase right here, that's when uh, most medications will work. The problem with this parasite guarding treatment is that even if you do a fresh water dip, not all the parasite will die because the thing is they go inside the skin and they get protected by the skin. In the gills, which is, uh, which is possible for, for the parasite to get uh, protected by a layer of cells, but not all. So you will still give relief to the fish because these parasites don't have a capacity for osmoregulation. So our water just goes inside them and literally explodes them. So when you get new fish, it's extremely important that you quarantine the fish. At least have it in a separate tank for uh, observation. So when you get fish, the best thing you can do, because not only it can be in the fish, but other parasites. It's very important that you put the fish on that separate tank, keep an eye on him, feed them, make sure the tank has a, a, it cycle. When you add the fish to the tank, put them in an acclimatization box so the other fish see them, so there's less fighting, less stress. Stress is something that is very important with fish. It's a physiological stress. This physiological stress will affect the immune system. Now, how to prevent this parasite, how to treat it, to prevent it, like I said, get the quarantine tank, observe it. If it shows up, you can medicate the quarantine tank. You can also have a UV sterilizer. When you get the UV sterilizer, please make sure you got the right flow going through the UV sterilizer. Please make sure you change the bulb once a, at least once a year. Some bulbs might be earlier. Also, the quartz sleeve. Everybody forgets about the quartz sleeve. The quartz sleeve must be clean. Otherwise, the radiation will not go through. It will be better if you have all the water from the return pump going through the UV sterilizer. But if you, can, if you cannot do that, at least have a dedicated pump or have a manifold valve feeding a UV sterilizer. And put them in the tank. Actually... If you're dripping for a longer time, before you, 10 minutes before you put the fish in the tank, do that. Metroplex, a lot of